Welcome to Intel's CES press conference, starting with the announcement that we're in production of our brand new 12th gen Intel Core KS series processor. This processor takes performance to all new heights. It has a whopping 5.5 gigahertz single core turbo right out of the box. And with optimizations for performance cores, we can get above five gigahertz on multi-core performance. You can see the game here. And GB said you were gonna get those P cores at above five gigahertz, but you'll see those are hitting 5.2 gigahertz across all cores right out of the box. Wow, that's incredible, Chuck. And we'll ship this new enthusiast desktop part to OEM customers by the end of this quarter. The platform technology we've showcased today isn't limited to just our desktop lineup. I'm thrilled to announce that starting today, we're bringing our new hybrid architecture to performance laptops with the launch of eight brand new 12th gen H-series mobile processors. With up to 14 cores and clock speeds up to five gigahertz, our 12th gen H-series delivers up to 40% higher performance than our prior generation. The result is the world's best mobile gaming platform, period and we've tested it against everyone. Now today, I'm pleased to introduce more than 20 new designs powered by the H-Series processors from partners including Dell, Gigabyte, HP, Lenovo, MSI, Razer, Republic of Gamers, and more. The new P-Series devices are tailor-made for performance needed in a variety of thin and light laptops and cutting edge designs like these from Acer, Dell, HP, and this system here from Lenovo. So the new ways we are working, collaborating, and creating can be done anywhere without, mess, without missing a beat. Wow, thanks Chuck, those are some great moves there. <laughs> and as you've heard today, our Intel execution is back and we're moving at a more accelerated pace than ever. In total, we're delivering 28 new 12th generation Intel Core mobile processors across our HP and traditional U-series product lines that will result in more than 350 more mobile designs this year. And with our next generation processors, codenamed Raptor Lake, on track, already booting Windows, you can expect even more advancements from us in performance and choice coming later in 2022. And today, I'm pleased to announce the third generation of our Intel Evo spec. In this spec, we're adding new technologies to the platform, including Intel Wi-Fi 6E, background dynamic noise reduction using the AI engine built right into the platform. And for people looking for additional performance, we're extending the spec to include select 12th gen H-series designs and an option that includes our new Intel Arc discrete graphics that you're gonna hear more about later. I'm excited to announce that we are now shipping our Intel Arc discrete GPUs for 12th gen Core 8 series mobile designs to our leading OEM customers. With our long-standing partnerships with key OEMs, we've enabled rapid integration of Intel Arc into their next generation platforms. In fact, some of the designs are with us today. This is Alienware's X17 that will enable a premium laptop gaming experience powered by 12th Gen 8 Series, Intel Arc, and Alienware's Cryotech Cooling. It's also Alienware's thinnest 17-inch gaming laptop to date. Another example is Lenovo's Ultra Portable Yoga. This enables high-performance mobile content creation and enhanced gaming in a multi-form factor device. Together with our partners, we will launch more than 50 mobile and desktop designs, all using Arc. In fact, many of the eight series systems we showed already have Arc integrated. One of the advantages we can offer our customers and gamers is the enhanced experiences that come with combining Intel Arc GPUs and Intel Core platforms. Which brings me to DeepLink, a collection of technologies where our CPU and GPU architects have collaborated on the platform level to deliver better experiences with Intel Arc graphics and Intel Core platforms. Our first technology in the DeepLink portfolio is called Dynamic PowerShare, where the processor and graphics communicate to have an optimal set of performance levels depending on the workload. When graphics needs more power, it can shift the power from the processor and vice versa. We'll also introduce new gaming features that enable more user choice between performance and battery life and performance while streaming. Let me run this, uh, this clip. 
it's a bit uh, fast forwarded, uh, but you can see the, the richness of the, of the driving uh, situation. Now, after all, it's Paris. Paris is very, very difficult, uh, um, very difficult scene to, uh, to drive in, even for a human uh, driver. And you can see the kind of uh, testing uh, we can do, um, you know, the smoothness of, uh, of the drive. Here is another uh, testing site in, uh, in Tokyo. I'll run this uh, clip. Again, you know, the, the, the richness of uh, pedestrians, the roads are, are narrow, uh, obstacles, you know, pedestrian uh, crossing zones, and, and, and so forth. So uh, you can see that you know, our, our REM data provides us geographic uh, scalability to allow us to do uh, testing really, really worldwide in a very, very efficient uh, manner. Uh, together with the uh, Zikar, we also announced uh, uh, just uh, uh, this week the first design win for consumer level four uh, platform. It's going to be a uh, start of production early 2024. It's going to be powered by six IQ5 uh, chips, an ECU that we also uh, designed and will be ready for 2024 uh, uh, launch. And I'm happy to announce we have uh, three new generations of, uh, of you know, next generation of, uh, of IQ. Uh, in the under the hood uh, uh, session, I will provide more details. It's IQ6 and IQ uh, Ultra. I'm showing here the, the, the crown jewel. IQ Ultra is an AV on chip. It is roughly equivalent to 10 IQ5s. It's on a five nanometer process. There are four families of uh, accelerators that uh, Mobileye has designed over, over many, many years. There are 64 accelerator cores in this, uh, in this chip, divided into two, uh, in, into two parts of uh, 32, such that we can provide with an external MCU an ACLD uh, system. There is a GPU and ISP for, uh, for visualization. Power consumption is very, very light, is way below 100 uh, watts. It's 176 uh, uh, tops. And with that, thank you, stay safe, and let's make 2022 a great one.